Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Spirit in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum. And it starts around a, a, a whole bunch of licks around an A major. And the way you play A major, first finger goes to the D string on the first, or second fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. So it's kind of this big party on the second fret where you got D, G, and B on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And one way to do the intro would actually be just kind of staying on A major, so we'd have a lot of the A major. And a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns, 404, four, four, like this, is down, down, up, up, down, up. I'm going to talk about another way to do this in a minute. But just to try that a lot, you, you'd have the A with the down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up. to it but then to, to try that through our, our verse part we actually have to kind of add a couple more other chords so on the verse we're going to have an A and then an A and then another A but then we go to a D major and the way you play D major first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret or the skinny E on the second fret and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret and if you strum just the D G B and E like kind of the top four strings that means you clear sound out of that. That's called D major. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're going to be going back to the A major. And then we're going to be going to an E major chord. And the way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And a lot of our song is actually just going to be working around those three chords, the A, the D, and the E. And then we're going to be going back to the A major at the end of the verse. So if we're going to take our strum pattern and try it through that, there's one weird part where at the very end, we're going to take the E major and half it, and just do down, down, up, and then go back to the A and do a down, down. So we got E with a down, down, up, A with a down, down, up. But all the rest of the chords will just have that whole strum pattern. So just to try that through our verse progression, you got A, down, up, up, down, up, A, down. until we get to our solo progression. And on the first solo, it kind of starts on an A major, but then we go to a G major chord, and we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger goes to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, the solo part, we're going to go back to the A major. But then we go to a C major chord, and the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to go back to A major, and then we do a G major, and then we go back to A major, and then we do a C major, and then we do a D major. The weird thing about that solo part is on the last C and D we're going to half it just like we did the E and A in the verse part. So just to try that you'd have C with a down, down, up, D, down, down, up, C with a down, down, up, D with a down, down, up. So just to try that part with, with, with your show pattern you got A, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up.
though through the tune and actually the intro lick is, is really 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 cool and it's all around the A major and like I said before you really can just stay on the A through that intro part but what it sounds like Norman's doing is kind of taking the A major and doing a bass note on the A string and then kind of doing an upstroke on the G and the D string on the second fret and then we kind of do a lot more of the ups actually we're going to end up doing that six times so we're going bass up 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 and then there are a lot of really cool licks that kind of get thrown in. And the first one goes fifth fret on the A string, and you do a, a pull off to the open A, and then we go third fret, and we kind of do a third fret pull off the open A. So what I'm doing is kind of playing fifth fret, and then letting my finger kind of fall off the string to kind of let the sound carry back to the open string. And then that same thing on the three open. So I got five, pull off, three, pull off the open. <laughs> so all together you got bass on the A, and then up, up, up. second lick it actually kind of reverses so the lick that kind of happens at the end of the A is kind of a three pull off the open five pull off the open so then we'd have an A with the bass up, 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 up. three pull off open five pull off open bass up, 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 three oh five oh and then it kind of goes back to, to kind of an embellished uh, version of the first lick where you still do the A with the bass up, 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 up. but then we do the 5-0 pull off and then we go to 3rd fret on the A string and do a hammer on to the 5th fret and then a pull off back to 3rd fret so it's kind of a hammer on so I'm kind of playing the 3rd fret on the A taking my 3rd finger and kind of putting it down on 5th fret as a hammer on and then pull it off immediately back to 3 so I got 3-5-3 three, three, and then we kind of be back to the bass after that so on that one you got bass up, 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 up. Five, oh, three, five, three. basically kind of mixing up those licks like like through and then there are a lot of really cool solo parts that they kind of work through the tune on that first solo where, where you got the A and the G and the A and the C like that solo one there's some really cool sounds that they kind of happen with effects that you could almost simulate on an acoustic and in the first one you'd start seventh fret on the G string and do a, a bend on that so I'm kind of pressing into the guitar and up at the same time and you'd end up playing that eight like seven times with the bend going back to fifth fret on the G. So you got seven, 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 five. And then you'd almost do the same thing, but but on fifth fret on the D, where you do just a, a D string bend. And just kind of stay on the five for that one. And then there's some really cool licks that kind of come in around that where, where you start open A, and then we do a five, seven hammer on on the D string and then do another 5-7 hammer on the D string and then just play 7 straight up. So you got 0-5-7-5-7-7. Oh, seven, five, seven, seven. And then the, right after that then there's an open A and you do the 5-7 hammer on but then you go back to D on the fifth. And that like actually kind of happens happens a couple times like later on in the tune too so that's kind of a cool one to do where you got open A 5-7-5-7-7. it up with another lick where you play open A and then we go 4 to, to 5 on the G string as a hammer on pull off and then 5th fret on the G. So we got open A, 4 to 5 hammer on pull off, back to 5 on the G. string twice and then we go to seventh fret on the G string so that's kind of your first solo and actually one weird thing about our verse progression right before that solo well we kind of have the intro part right before it but uh, but our, our verse progression actually is going to repeat one two three times so just to try that you've got your A down up, up. 
in the intro part and then twice in the intro part. The second time through though it sounds almost like instead of doing the halving on the E and A there's a whole A. So on that last verse right before, before the intro part before the chorus or before the solo you, you've got A down up, up down, A down, down up. Verse chorus after the solo too. Intro lick, so you big back to the A bass up, 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 five of three of bass up, 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 three of five of bass up, 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 five of three of three bass up, 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 three of five of. And then there's another solo that comes in at the very end, kind of over that intro progression as as it's kind of working the fade. And that solo, you start 7th fret on the B string with kind of a hammer on from 7 to 8 on the B. And we do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then we do that lick four times. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last time, it kind of gets embellished, and we go into some other licks where you'd have 7 to 8 hammer on. And then we play eight again, and then we do a slide to ten, and then play ten on the B, and then we go to eighth fret on the B and kind of do a hammer on to ten twice. So we got eight ten hammer on eight ten hammer on, and then we go back to eight on the B. So all together you got seven eight hammer on eight eight ten slide ten eight ten eight ten eight, and then we kind of do that that lick again, but we're in, in, end up in a different place where you have eight ten hammer on on the B twice. But then we go high on the eight, and then we kind of have a, a ten, tenth fret on the B, and then eighth fret on the high E, and then tenth fret on the high E, and then eighth fret on the high E, and then tenth fret on the B, and then eight on the high E, and then back to ten on the B. So you got eight, ten, eight, ten, eight, eight, ten, eight, ten, eight on the high E, and then ten, eight, ten, eight, ten, eight, ten on the B. And then there's kind of this shift where we go 13 on the B string, and then 15 on the B string, and then there's this awesome look that reminds me of Jimmy Page, where, where you do a 15th fret bend on the B string, and then play 15 on the high E string, and then we go back to the 15 on the B string bend, and then we go 13 on the B, and then 14 on the G. So you got 13, 15, 15 bend, 15 on the high E, 15 bend, 13, 14. And then we go 12 on the G, and then 14 on the G, and then 13 on the B, and then we kind of do that 15 bend on the B again, and then play 15 straight up, and then 13, and then back to 15. So from the 13, you got 13, 15, 15 bend, 15 on the high, 15 bend on the B, 13, 14 on the G, 12, 14 on the G, 13, 15 bend on the B string, 15, 13, 15. And then at the very end, it's kind of, kind of hard to hear this because we're doing the fade, but you got the 13 on the B, and then a 13, 15 hammer on on the B, and then back to 13, and then we do 13, 15 hammer on again on the B, and then we go to 14 on the G, and then we go 13 on the B, and then 15 on the B, and then we do that 15 bend again on the B string, and then back 15, 13, and then 12 on the B string twice, oh, 12 one time, and then you go to 13 on the B, and then you go to 14 on the G. So you got 13, 13, 15, hammer on, 13, 13, 15, hammer on, 14 on the G. 13, 15, 15, bend, 15, 13, 12, 13, 14 on the G. So this might be some lead licks that you want to kind of add in, but for the most part, you could really just take that verse progression and work that all the way through, and I really think that intro lick is killer. But, uh, but that's the basics of how you could play Spirit in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum. So good luck!